Tara, thank you. And our Eyewitness News in-depth coverage continues now. This morning, during a taping of Newsmakers, Governor Gina Raimondo weighed in on Chafee ending his campaign. I would say this is a guy that has dedicated his whole life to public service. His fam his dad was an amazing public servant. The Chafees have been great public servants. So um, I think we should take a minute and celebrate that. Public service is hard. He gave 30 years to public service, and he's made a decision. It's, it's the end of the road for him. So good luck. And we want to get more analysis now from WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. All right, Ted, uh, you've been tracking, you know, Chafee all along here. Were you surprised by the announcement this morning? Uh, to be honest, I, I well, I guess I wasn't because of last night's tweet. You know, I think uh, last night the Chafee campaign sent out that kind of vague tweet Jared mentioned. Definitely got the political reporters buzzing. Um, but at the same time, there is an element of surprise, Danielle, because Chafee is always surprising. If there's one thing Rhode Islanders know about him, and I think, you know, it was clear all along there wasn't a, a, a strong campaign apparatus around Lincoln Chafee a strong argument for his run and so I think it, to some extent I wondered well maybe he'll just continue this as long as he can but uh, clearly I think there were a lot of people who spoke to him maybe encouraged him that it was it was time to give it up and you know you heard uh, Jared Pliner mention this briefly you know Chafee said he was in the race to move the needle on issues did he really have the chance to do that no and I think that's you know one of the things he in a lot of ways became a punchline after especially after that debate performance I think Joe Fleming said it best he fell on his face and uh, you know Chafee had said he wanted to raise these issues about uh, foreign policy his differences with Hillary Clinton but what did we really talk about his advocacy of the metric system right uh, his uh, inability to explain why he had a vote and if he knew what he was voting on in the Senate I mean he, he wasn't getting attention for the things he wanted to and, and perhaps that's part of what led him to this decision today. And you heard Governor Raimondo, a newsmaker, saying it's the end of the road, certainly for his uh, presidential run. But right. is it the end of his political career? What do you think? I mean, it, it is hard to see Danielle. Uh, I guess, you know, you can announce you're running for anything, as he proved with the presidential campaign. But right. when you look at how weak his approval rating got in our WPRI 12 polls that Joe Fleming conducts, I mean, he was down in the 20s a percent approval rating, very, very low and weak most of the time. So it's hard to see much appetite in Rhode Island to elect Lincoln Chafee again. But as I said, uh, he's a man full of surprises. So I, I don't want to count anything out in his future. All right. Ted Nisi, as always, great insights. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate Thanks, it. Danielle.